Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. Today I'm going to be showing you some Noriko styles, so stay tuned. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to say that these wigs that I'm showing you today are currently on sale, so I will put the sale price up on the screen. If you're watching this at a later date, I can't guarantee that they will still be on sale. So if you see something you like, head on over and check it out. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is called May, and she's in the color Maple Sugar Rooted. And May is described as... A short length synthetic wig, these are all synthetic wigs, it's straight ready to wear wig with elegance. This style is a relaxed bob with a wispy perimeter and feathery swept sides. And you can see there it has like that side bang and it is feathered. May is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow a more comfortable fit. The result is a comfortable fit with a natural look that is both fashionable and easy to wear. Now, I believe none of these wigs are heat friendly, so they're all going to be a regular synthetic. They may appear shinier at first, and you can take down the shine by doing a cold soak. You can also use a dry shampoo, and then over time, shine does lessen. So uh, I just wanted you to be aware of that. I know some people are worried about shine, even though right now the big thing is to get a glaze on your bio hair so it looks shiny. So, you know, maybe that's going to change and people are going to want shiny wigs. Anyway, uh, this is in the color Maple Sugar Rooted, and I'll read you that description. That says a rooted dark. So there you go. See, it's rooted dark with light honey brown base with strawberry blonde highlights. So it has a 10 base, which is a medium brown, a lighter medium brown. I usually consider an eight, a real medium brown. And then it has 30 in the highlights. And that's like a in the reds. And then a 613, which is like a platinum blonde. And a 27, which is also in the reds. So you can see all of that in there okay may's measurements her crown is nine inches the nape is 3.9 inches hopefully you can see this 3.9 inches the fringe is seven inches oh that reminds me my circumference is 21 and a half inches forehead to chin i'm eight and a half inches all of my measurements will be in the description below. And the one thing that um, I should tell you about Noriko is that in general, it does run smaller. So if you have a smaller head, Noriko could be a great brand for you. If you have a large head, not a great brand, although some of the wigs are made in a large. I'll let you know which those are. Okay, the fringe is seven inches. So I'm eight and a half here to here, so that looks about right and she weighs 3.63 ounces. Density wise, I'm going to say medium density, decent amount of permatees around here, which gives it the shape and hides the wefting. And since this is a basic cap, it's all wefted. So there is definitely permatees. I always like to show you the part to see if you can see the permatees on this side. And I know some people hate permatees. I don't. I think it has its place, especially in hiding the wefting, but also in adding the shape to the wig. So I think it looks really nice on this wig. And I would probably just put it behind my ear like that. Really cute style. All right, I'm going to spin for you and show you what it looks like. It's not so easy to spin in this chair, but I'm just going to turn the best way I can. Here you go. Really cute. Throw on and go. This will be a workhorse wig because it's not heat friendly. There really is no special care you have to do to it. And this is how it came out of the box. Okay, I'm going to put the glasses on. Under the ear tabs. I feel like it's actually below the ear tabs, which reminds me. Let me show you the ear tabs so you can see the coverage you get. Here's the ear tab. It comes down to here. So pretty good coverage there. 
Um, it doesn't come as far forward as some, and I do have hair that grows further forward than most people, so that is my hair there. And here's the ear tab on the other side, so you can see that. So the glasses under the ear tabs did not bother me, and over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. All right, I'm going to take her out, show you the color, and then I will show you the cap. Okay, it's freezing out here. <laughs> I won't be out here long. This is the maple sugar rooted. So you can see the color. You can see some of that platinum blonde in there and the red highlights and the rooting. Such a cute style. Okay, after coming in from outside, I started the fire with help from my husband, so it should be a nice one today. Uh, all right, let's take a look at this cap. If you notice, by the way, that there's snow decor on the fireplace, it's because I'm dismantling everything and I'm going to redecorate. I love to do that every couple of months. My eyes get bored of looking at the same thing. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I like to redecorate often, so... All right, here we go. Basic cap, you can see here. No lace front. You got permatees in here. There is a material. It's kind of like a lace material. It's not soft. Um, it's just a regular lace material with metal stays in here. Let me see the metal stays, how they feel. I'm not actually feeling them. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Metal stays in there. Open wefting. And you don't have an extended nape here. The nape is softer. It's a softer material than the ear tabs. And then you have these bra strap type closures where you pull it tight. Now, these are all the way out and it's fitting me just fine. So I'm going to say if you have a large head, this is not going to fit you. If you have a petite head, Noriko could be a great brand for you. And also, if you don't like heat-friendly wigs, Noriko could be great for you. I don't believe they make heat-friendly wigs. Um, I'll have to check on that. But in any case, great styles, and they will fit a petite head. Okay, this next one is Corey in Sandy Silver. This is, again, right out of the box. I stuck it on my head. It looks to me like this side is poofing out a little bit more. And... Maybe I'd have to work with that. Cute style, though. Just a little cute Baja. And this color is a very interesting color. I know so many people have been asking for a brown with gray, and this color, I think, accomplishes that. It's really very pretty. Let me read to you about this style. Now this wig to me does look a lot like the stock photo. The style says, it's a short length synthetic wig. The straight ready to wear wig is a classic bob that frames the face with a soft textured fringe. So you can see that there. I think this might be a little bit of box hair in here or something. I would just work with that to straighten that a little bit. Uh, this style is timeless and can be worn for any occasion. She's machine made with adjustable tabs, fitting me very snugly at 21 and a half inches, and the tabs are out. So this is great for a petite head. I'm sorry for you girls with the large head, but this is not for you. Corey is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow a more comfortable fit. The result is a comfortable fit with a natural look that is both fashionable and easy to wear. And I do think that this is a great look. I love this color. I do think this side looks a little bit more curled. I might even steam that a little bit. Now, if it's not a heat-friendly wig, which it's not, they tell you not to use heat. So if you're going to steam it, that is not recommended by the manufacturer, but you can steam it. You just have to be careful, and there's a lot of videos on that. And I do intend to make one. I just haven't had a chance yet. All right, let's look at the measurements. The crown is eight and a half inches. The nape is 1.8 inches. Let me turn this way. Right there, 1.8 inches. The fringe is 3.1, so 
So I don't even think I'd have to trim this to wear this with the bang if I wanted to wear it like that. And if I wore it with the bang, I'd put it behind the ears. I think that looks so adorable that way. And she weighs 3.1 ounces. Definitely permatease. I feel it around in here. This is a basic cap, so there's no lace front. If I lift this up, you see the harsh line there. No lace front and no monofilament part. But the way the color's done, I think it looks nice. All right, now the color. Let's talk about the color. Sandy Silver. Okay, Sandy Silver is a medium brown and silver blend that transitions to more silver light ash brown than to silver bangs. So you can see it's lighter up front here, but in here you can see the brown with the silver there. This gorgeous color. Really like that. All right, let's try her on with the glasses. Oh, let me show you the ear tabs. Okay, so ear tabs. They're up here. They're a little bit higher on this one, a little less coverage. I have room under here, which makes me think the glasses are going to slip right under there. Let's look on this side. Yeah, I have a little space under there, so it doesn't come down quite as far. And as I said, there's permatease, and I'd consider it medium density, maybe on the lighter side of medium, but I can certainly around here feel more. Okay. The glasses under the ear tabs. It does slip under, but I feel it a little bit. I think I would prefer it over. Yeah, definitely. No problem with over. All right. Let's take this color outside, putting the coat on. My husband is the best. He just cleared me a path. <laughs> he came home and saw that I was walking out in the snow. How great is that? Okay, so here's Sandy Silver. Oof, getting hit with snow. Okay, hopefully you got a good look at the color there. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. Sometimes I'm surprised by the color of the inside of the cap. You never know what it's going to be. All right, so you can see it's a basic cap here. Permatease in here. Open wefting. You have that lace material ear tab with the metal stays in there. And they're nice metal stays, but they're not as uh, thick as some others. A regular nape with nice material here. And you can see I have it all the way out. And this was fitting me snugly. So for you ladies with a petite head, this could be a great basic bob with a bang. Corey in sandy silver. Okay, this is right out of the box. You can see the part is still there. But I wanted to show you this out of the box. This is Alva. And... This is one of Noriko's most popular wigs. Um, I think it's beautiful. The one thing I did notice is I do see some of the permatease up here. Now you can take care of that. I haven't even combed it. I'm going to just try combing through the part here. And I'll read to you about her. Um, I don't know if that helped at all. You can take a look. You can also use some steam. You just want to be careful not to steam the permatease flat because it won't do its job of hiding the wefting. So, you know, with this dark color, I really don't think it shows up much anyway, but I just wanted to point that out. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, let's take a look at the style. This is an adorable style with the, let me make sure the ear tabs are even there yeah with the the bang in the front I really like this one I can see why it's popular okay so let's see what they say about Alva it's a mid-length synthetic wig again a synthetic wig and also a basic wig basic cap so these wigs are going to be in the more affordable range uh, and again I will have the sale prices up so you can check that out uh, okay, so a mid-length synthetic wig, straight, ready to wear, is a trend-setting collar-length bob with tapered fringe. So you can see that there. I really do like 
how they do the bang with this. I think it looks so pretty. Alva has layers and length combined to create natural movement and a versatile look. Alva is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow for a more comfortable fit. So again, this is fitting me snugly. It's comfortable. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. Let me just show you her style here. I really like this. Okay, let's talk about this color. Candy Brown LR is what it's called. Okay, Candy Brown LR is described as a mixture of warm light brown with dark rich brown and natural long shadow roots. So that's the LR. So here, hopefully you can see the different browns in there. And the long shadow roots, so it's darker here and it carries down into the wig. So I have some longer hairs here. I I did not style this at all. I don't know where they go. <laughs> Let me try combing this again and just see what happens with the style. I'll tell you the measurements also. The crown is 9.4 inches. The nape, 3.9 inches. And the fringe, 3.9 inches. So if you wanted to wear this as a bang, you could. I'd probably have to snip this a little bit with the scissors because it's a little bit long for me. Uh, but I think it would be really cute to wear it with the bang. Put it behind your ears. You could pull it back if you wanted to in a style. You could even make a low ponytail with her. There's a lot you could do with her. Permatease, definitely permatease up here. And as I noted, I was able to see it a little bit in the part there. Um, and definitely medium density. So far, I haven't found anything in this brand that I would consider low density. Uh, but I don't think that it looks like an outrageous amount of hair. I just wouldn't call it low density. Okay, so the ear tabs. Let's look at where the ear tabs come to. Try to move those bangs out of the way. So the ear tabs come to right above the ear there. You can see this is my hair here. There you go, to right there. So let me try with the glasses. Okay, I would definitely feel it under the ear tabs. Over the ear tabs, no problem. All right, gonna put on the coat and we're going out. Okay, Oop, let me turn this this way. I think I've been doing the other ones in this direction. I don't know. All right, this is Candy Brown LR with the long roots. So hopefully you can see the color here. Fire's still going. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. Okay, again, basic cap. Permatease in here. Open wefting. Now this has that material with the hair spliced in here. So it comes out through the ear tab. And when the hair is spliced in, it helps it to look more natural around the ear tab because you have some hairs coming out. Okay, and here is the nape, again, not extended, but that nice, softer material. And you can see the adjusters are basically out to the end, and it fit me snugly. So all of these, I'm going to say, so far, are petite to average. I'm going to say average is the top part of what you can fit in these wigs. And even though I tried to comb through the part, you can see, still, it's not combed through, and you can see some of the permatease there. Let me see what happens if I really take a comb to it. Yeah, it gets much better. I just want to show you that. When I take the comb to it, how much better it starts to look. So, 
you know, you just have to work with it a little bit, but such a beautiful style. All right, that's Alva in Candy Brown LR, Long Rooted. Okay, this next one is called Brett, another basic cap, and she's in the color Silverstone Rooted. And this is an interesting color because it's silver with brown, again. For some reason, I almost see a purplish or lilac cube, but it could be my eye. I don't know, maybe when we look outside. But that's not in the color description. I'll just read you the color description. It says, white silver tone front, silver soft brown at middle, dark brown mixed with silver nape, and dark brown root. So there's your dark brown root, and you can see the silver and brown, and the nape back here. While we're here, I'll tell you the measurements, and then I'll read you her description. The crown is 3.9 inches. The nape is 2.8 inches. And the fringe is 4.3 inches. So again, I'd probably have to snip these a little bit, but it would look really cute with the bang. Really cute style. Um, I do not have a weight here for her. She feels medium density, definitely some permatease. It's going to hide the wefting in all these basic caps, and it's going to give it some really nice shape, as you can see here. She has nice shape. This is literally right out of the box. I'm showing you. So if the part still has some zigzag to it, they don't always have the zigzag part. Uh, that would be the reason. I can comb this here a little, show you, get the fibers off the cap a little. And I would shake it when I first take it out, but again, I want to show you right out of the box because I know so many people expect it to look out of the box like it looks in the stock photos and that's just not normally the case usually you have to play with it make it your own and I have started putting the stock photos up so that you can see how it looks in the stock photo as compared to how I take it out of the box but I would definitely shake it up you could floof it up you got the permatease to work with there you could you know however you like you can wear it with the bang also let me read you the description Brett from our Noriko collection is a short length synthetic wig. It's straight, ready to wear wig is a simply superb style with layers. And it's a pixie. If you are looking for a modern everyday look, Brett is the style for you. She's machine made, adjustable tabs, and to be more comfortable in the nape area. And again, fitting me very snugly at 21 and a half inch circumference. And you can see my other measurements below. All right, let's Look at the ear tabs here. You can see them, they come down to here. They're a nice match for my hair, which is out here, so, which is a brown with gray in it. Uh, yeah, so you get nice coverage, comes down to the ear there. Let me try the glasses on. I would definitely feel it under the ear tabs, over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. So I try to show you everything I can about a wig so that you're not surprised when you get it home. Uh, so in the case of these basic wigs that are more affordable, you're not getting some of the features like a monofilament top or part, a lace front, and you can see here, no lace front, you have a harsh line, but it doesn't matter, you have bangs. Also. Things will differ as far as how the fibers feel. I would say, you know, something like a Beltress or a Raquel Welsh has a really silky, smooth fiber, where a more affordable wig may be a little bit more coarse. Um, the fabric around the ear tabs that I've been showing you is this lace fabric that's not particularly soft. It's not bad. It's just not the velvety ear tabs that you'll get in some of the higher end brands and wigs. So I just want you to be aware. These are great wigs and you can certainly work with them and make them your own. There are some differences. Obviously, if you pay more, hopefully you're going to get something more. So I just want you to be aware of all the features. And, you know, as I'm going through these, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I've fallen a little bit behind in the comments. It's been crazy busy, but I'm going to get back to it and catch up. 
All right, so let's take this lady outside and take a look at the color. Okay, so here you go. This is the Silverstone rooted. It's probably no purple or lilac. It might've been my lighting or my camera. It's the brown with the silver. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. You can see here, it's a basic cap, has permatease in here, open wefting, and this is that material, that lace material I was telling you about. It's not particularly soft. It's not bad, it's just not velvety. Uh, metal stays. You have your regular nape, it's not extended. And the bra strap pulls, which are all the way out. And again, this fit me snugly. So I'm going to say this is going to fit a petite and up to an average. There you go, Brett in Silverstone Rooted. Okay, meet Emery in Chestnut. This is a pretty color. Right off the bat, this one feels a little itchy to me around the nape area and up here. So if you're sensitive, I don't know if it's this wig in particular, it seems itchier to me. I don't know why I can't figure that out. Anyway, let's read about the color, which I think is beautiful. This chestnut says dark and bright auburn 50-50 blend of 33 and 130. So those are the colors of auburn. Really pretty. I like that. If you want something more uh, fashion color-wise. And the style of emery, it says... Uh, this straight, ready-to-wear wig is a chin-length, layered bob. Emery creates a modern yet classical look with a soft body and natural lift to flatter any face shape. I do think it's nice. It comes right around the chin here. Um, of course, it depends on the length of your face. I'm eight and a half inches. Its lace front will give you a natural look with the lace part cap. Oh, it also has a part. So this this one does have more features. Let me just look at the price here. And the price reflects that. You'll see that. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, Emery cap construction has adjustable tabs in the back to allow for a comfortable fit. Again, fits me very snugly. Not too snugly, but nicely at a 21 and a half inch circumference. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let me give you the measurements. Okay, so the crown is 6.3 inches, the nape 2.4 inches, the fringe 7.1 inches. So it's a long side bang, I imagine. Where is that 7.1? Probably this here is 7.1. And she weighs 2.9 ounces. I definitely feel permatease. I'll show you this. I don't know if you can see any in the top there. Yeah, I definitely feel some adding to the shape. And I would say she's medium density. So here's the style. And this piece, I would probably have to work with this piece a little bit just to keep it out. Maybe heat up my hands and hold it there or use some steam, something like that. Now, this again is right out of the box. I've done nothing to it. So let me just try combing a little over the part there. Get these hairs off the cap. Really nice style. I like this a lot. Okay, let's try the glasses on. Oh, let's look at the ear tabs. Okay, so these ear tabs are long. I noticed this when I was putting it on. The ear tab comes all the way down to here. So you got a lot of coverage on this ear tab. These are definitely longer than the other ear tabs. Comes down to here. Okay, so if I put this under those ear tabs, it's, I definitely feel that. Over the ear tabs, nothing. That's perfect. All right, let's take this chestnut color outside. I'm curious to see how that looks. Okay, the wind's blowing out here. Take a look quickly, because I'm going in. <laughs> there we go, this is the chestnut. Really pretty color. <sighs> okay, got a little wind blown out there. <laughs> let's take a look at the cap. 
Okay, so you can see here it has a temple to temple lace front. And this is actually a nice thick area here. So if you wanted to move your part just in the front over, you could do that. But this is where you would have your long part showing. So if you part it there, you have all this space to give that appearance of a scalp. This has the nicer, so this is their upgraded cap. This has the nicer velvety material. The hair is spliced in there, you can see that. Open wefting, has an extended velvety nape. And here's your adjusters and they're pretty much all the way out. So like I said, petite to average, no larger. Okay, so that is Emery. Really cute style in chestnut. Okay, meet Haley in Creamy Blonde. Again, right out of the box. I think you can probably see some of the permatees there. I haven't combed it yet. This is another basic cap. So I'm just going to try combing through a little bit, lifting that off the cap so you don't see the permatees as much. There you go. I think it's looking better already. You could definitely play with this. This piece seems to want to fall in the face here. Now, when I show you that, that could just be on this one specific wig. It could have a little bit of box hair. But there are ways to work with that, with steam, with the heat of your hands. I would probably just put it behind my ear like that. Really cute style. Now, again, not heat friendly, so there is more shine. And you can usually see that more in the blondes. Uh, but as I said, shine lessens over time, and you can do a cold soak of your wig, or you can put some dry shampoo on, or both, whatever you want to do to take that shine down. If you want to take the shine down. Remember, shine's coming back. <laughs> All right, so this is Haley. Let's take a look at her description. This straight, ready-to-wear wig is a classic, longer, graduated bob, and I like the little flip at the end there, too. This style has subtle face-framing layers in the front, giving you that chic, polished look. Let me just take this down and show you. Yeah, it's nice. Haley is machine-made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow a more comfortable fit. Um, this one, I think it's fitting me similar to the others, maybe slightly looser. Uh, so I would say petite to average again. Okay, her crown is 8.3 inches. The nape, 2.4 inches. The fringe, 7.1 inches. So that's probably the shorter pieces under here. And she weighs 4.2 ounces, definitely medium density, definitely permatease. Let me read you the color, Creamy Blonde. Creamy Blonde is described as platinum and light gold blonde 50-50 blend. And the colors are 102 and 24. So 102 is your platinum and your 24 is your gold, light gold blonde. So you can see that in there. And this has both warm and cool tones to it. Yeah, I can definitely see the warmth too. So you get both in there. And since it's a 50-50 blend, it could probably fit more skin tones. Okay, let's look at the ear tabs. Now, my hair definitely does not match this, so you can see which is my hair here. The ear tab comes down pretty far. Yeah, pretty far there. And let me try the glasses on. Under the ear tabs, I would definitely feel that. Over the ear tabs, no, that's, that's nice. No problem there. Now try not to pay attention to my darker hair underneath, but you could pull it back, maybe pull some tendrils out, pull it back. Pull it back on both sides with a barrette. Maybe pull it to a ponytail. 
The back is a little short for a ponytail. It would be a really short one. Okay, let's take this creamy blonde outside. Okay, so here you go. This is the creamy blonde color. I'm ready for the sunshine. All right, let's take a look at the cap. Okay, so here you go. This is a basic cap. Permatees in here, open wefting. You have that lace fabric there with the hair spliced in. This does have an extended lace nape and the adjusters. You can see they're pretty much all the way out. And I would say this is, would fit a petite to average. All right, there you go. That is Haley in Creamy Blonde. I like how it's shorter in the back there and longer in the front. I do just, I was just about to put this away, but I do want to show you how you can see the permatease in this. So you'd have to work with that a little bit, maybe using a comb to get that out of there and maybe some steam. Being very careful if you do use steam. Yeah, I'd want to lift it off the cap so that you don't see it as much. Okay, this is the last wig. This is Ivy in Spring Honey. Again, right out of the box. Haven't done anything to her. Hopefully you can see this style a little bit. I'll read you about the style. The straight, ready-to-wear wig is a classic short style. Ivy has those features with its rounded, page-like bob style cut and a round, heavy fringe. So it does kind of have that round look. Ivy is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area for a more comfortable fit. Let's look at her measurements. Her crown, 4.7 inches. Her nape, 2 inches. Her fringe, 3.7 inches. So that's the front here. So if I were going to wear bangs, I might even, because of the way it's rounded, I might not have to trim these or just maybe just a tad. I don't think I'd have to. And I would put it behind my ears like that. Cute style. Uh, and she weighs 2.29 ounces. Now, definitely permatees. Another basic cap. So you don't have any monofilament in the top here. Let me show you the top so you can see if you can see any of the permatees there. And I would, again, try to get the fibers off the cap. Play with it. Seems to want to stick up in certain directions. I'd have to play with that a bit. Make it my own. Okay. And this color Spring Honey, which I think is very pretty, definitely a warm blonde. It says Honey Blonde and Gold Platinum Blonde 50-50 blend. So even the platinum is a gold platinum blonde. And this piece, I don't know if this is box hair or what. It wants to stick up there, so I would have to work with that. Definitely doable, though. Really cute style. I'll try to spin around so you can see the whole thing here. Okay, as far as the ear tabs go, it's easy to see where it ends there. This is my hair. And... Where it ends here, this is my hair also, down here. Let me try the glasses on. I definitely feel it under the ear tabs, over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. All right, let's take Spring Honey outside, my last trip outside. I can't say I'm sad about that. <laughs> okay, so you can see the Spring Honey here, you can see the hairs wanting to stick up. I'd probably have to steam those down. But really pretty color. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. This one is snug fitting. We'll see 
where the uh, adjusters are. They're pretty far out. This is going to be a petite to the low side of average. Here is where the permatees is. Basic front, no lace. You have that lace material with the hair spliced in, open wefting, an extended nape, and you can see the adjusters here could go maybe a little bit bigger. Petite to average, I'm going to say. All right, and that is Ivy in Spring Honey. has like that kind of messy look. I think it's meant to be that way. I think, um, is it Trendsetter or Voltage by Raquel Walsh? They have that kind of look in the back too. All right. Okay, so those of you who have been with me for a while know that what this means. This is my favorite from the group. I always end with it. This is Alva. Really love her in can what is it? Candy Brown. In Candy Brown LR. I think she's adorable. I hope you enjoyed this showing of Noriko wigs. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Reach out through our website, through our private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. Come on over and join us. It's so much fun there. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.